Hello, and welcome back to day five of Vlogmas. Uh, this one's going to be a very short one. Uh, I worked all day and then ran into Fremont for groceries and then came home and immediately had youth group and just got back from that a few minutes ago. So I opened my advent calendar and it was dark outside, so I didn't record it then. And by the time I got home, it was dark again. So. I'm hoping I can get a decent video to show that. If not, I'll share it tomorrow. Um, mostly what wasn't taken up with like paid work is that, uh, and the most Christmassy thing today was I was able to get the list for the families that our church is adopting. And I'm sorry I'm holding this because I'm doing it quick. Um, so the camera may move some. <laughs> Violet is just going to stare it down. Uh, I got the list, kind of got those fleshed out. So the plan is for tomorrow to spend time making tags for each family and writing specific things on each tag and making a master list and doing all that stuff so that I can hang the tags on the tree for church people to pick up and buy the presents and bring them back wrapped. Um, again, it's a humbling experience. It's so much work and a few hours ago I was like, why am I doing this? But then as I talked to both moms and fleshed out the lists and then talked to um, someone that I had asked me for, from church to help me with it and kind of, I don't know, learning more about these kids' lives and what's going on with them and all that stuff. It just makes me so very grateful um, for the outpouring of love that we are able to show them that people enthusiastically want to show them. Um, I've been getting texts and phone calls for the last two weeks at least asking when I'm going to have tags. I didn't have the lists until today, so not my fault <laughs> but uh, people are ready for them want them but also you know even when we go through rough times um, how lucky and blessed we really are um, something that I realized in watching my vlog from last night I didn't kind of wrap up everything and I am very glad to hear how many people were touched by the story, and I think we need those kind of stories. We need to hear that. We need to realize that there's people like that, um, and that we can be those people. Um, but in the beginning of the story about the pantry, I was talking about how my husband was put in charge of the ministerial fund. And when he was first put in that, before there was a food pantry, and that was super loud, Mike. Um, he would probably get requests two or three times a month for assistance. And um, the funds were getting depleted pretty quickly because... Um, you know, you pay an electric bill off or a furnace or whatever. Say you bye. say bye. Night night. Night night. Nope, you're just gonna stare at yourself. I can't believe she sat on me that long with a with it recording and oh didn't try to grab it. Bye. bye, honey. I love you. Can you book it? Thank you. Um and basically what was happening were uh people, you know, you want to try to make sure that your kids' bellies are fed and that's something that happens every single day they have to have food or whatever. <coughs> and so those bigger bills were getting pushed off. And so then it was a problem because then all of a sudden your electricity bill is $200 because you haven't paid it for two months because you couldn't pay it because you had to get the food. And so, anyways, he was getting those requests like two or three times a month. Now that we have this food pantry, he gets requests. In the past year, I think there's been four. So he went from the same amount of requests that he would get in probably two months to that's the amount he would get in an entire year. 
So that was kind of the wrap up of why I was talking about the ministerial fund before is because it really has made a huge difference because when people can get the help with the food, then they have that money left. Um, instead of scrimping and saving for that, that, that need is covered and so they're better able to um, get their bills covered, which has been an amazing thing. And also <laughs> because they, we're not just like wasting the time and effort. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to have some footage when I'm working on all my tags. I started cutting my strings so I can <laughs> hang them on the tree. And I punched the holes in all the tags, but I haven't really started going for it. Sorry. I am still sick. Um, not as bad as I was Monday. Not worse than yesterday either, but my voice, I think, sounds worse because I literally left the house at like 7.20 this morning and um, I was back for a few minutes, but the whole time I was, I spent on the phone talking to the moms of the families to make sure I understood what the needs were, um, what the wants were, what would be the most helpful, what they need for their homes, things like that. Um, so I've literally been talking <laughs> for like what is it 14 hours now anyways so again this is probably gonna go up in the morning and I'm sorry I'm hoping that tomorrow being at home and being able to do some of this stuff um, that I'll go back to having a more polished and fun uh, vlog uh, unlike other people I don't make my coffee for you I don't know if that's a detriment <laughs> but uh my husband makes my coffee so I'm not going to get up and tape record and make you my coffee. <laughs> Anyways, I'm rambling. Do to my underwear. They would be so thankful not to see that recorded. <laughs> Excuse my husband and his disgusting us. Um, okay, so Merry December 5th. I am getting the days wrong now. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Stay warm, my friends. Bye.